Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be trying something I've been dying to try for a long time, if for no other reason than the fact that look at how freaking aesthetic this is. Um, if you know anything about me, you know I am obsessed with this like millennial pink color and my favorite color is actually emerald green, which I can see a lot of in here. I love flowers, I love florals, and this just seems so up my alley as a sweet little thing to not only create, but also hang on my wall. Um, so I got this, uh, actually, I originally saw it at Walmart, this Daz Dimensional Diamond Art Kit. Um, and it was around $10. I actually ended up finding it on Amazon for a little bit cheaper. Um, and it is a nine inch by 12 inch uh, creation that looks like it is uh, ready to frame. Um, let's take a look. See, there are 11 gemstone colors in this particular one. There's a couple different styles, but this is the one I really wanted because it kind of has that um, look that I really like. I think it'll match uh, my uh, office a little bit better too. Um, it's got the sheets that it goes on a gemstone net oh goodness i don't oh the art sheet is uh the these dimensions nine inch by ten inch that's where we put everything on i'm assuming a gem tray a stylus a wax one inch by one inch it doesn't really say wax what it just says wax um so i guess there's just wax and easy to follow instructions uh, this is by Horizon Group. I've seen uh, Nerdy Crafter do a couple of different reviews on the Verizon Group's um, craft kits. So I don't know. I'm, I don't know what to think yet, but I'm kind of excited because I, I love the packaging. I love the way this looks and I would love to have something like this on my wall. All right, so it's got a couple of helpful hints up here. It says lay everything on a flat surface. Since it's kind of curved, I, I'm kind of hoping that maybe if I lay it flat, whenever I finish whatever I'm going to do tonight, um, it'll kind of lay the curves out. That would be ideal. Uh, select the area that you would first like to start adding gems. I wanted to go by color, but the helpful hint here says that I should probably work right to left. If you are right-handed and or left to right if you're left-handed. So it's saying that if I am right-handed, then I should start here and keep going this way, which doesn't really make any sense. I feel like it would make more sense to go this way, unless it's telling me that I don't want to get anything stuck on it. Oh, and in order to ensure gems stick down with no debris on the sticky surface, that makes sense. Um, uh, da -da -da -da, match the gem letter and everything is packaged with a letter so this has got a little a on it and it has a through k for 11 different colors um and i would just stick it over all of the sections that say a which makes sense of course um the easiest to apply one color at a time okay so i don't know which helpful hint exactly they want me to go for but um let's see how to apply the wax to the end of your gem stylus peel back the protective plastic on your wax square that's what this is i believe this little pink thing so both sides actually have the protective plastic so i will peel back and peel back and it says to insert the metal tip of your stylus into the wax um Take off a small piece of wax so that there's only a tiny piece in the tip at the end of the stylus. Place the protective plastic sheet back on the wax square to keep your wax from hardening. It wasn't even like airtight, so that's odd. But it does feel sticky and good still, so I guess all I have to do is just kind of pick where I'd like my wax to come from and poke it in there all the way. Give it a little twist just to be sure. And there we go. So you can see you got a little hole in, hole in there and a little bit of wax in my little stylus um and now i need to wrap her back up and that's what i'm gonna do it is quite sticky um which is interesting i don't know i think i don't think i've ever just like touched straight wax before it's fun it's an interesting texture um set aside that for future use you'll need to refill eventually um interesting pick up the gem by the dome it says um 
and make sure to put the sheet back on when we're done. This seems like pretty, like they said, pretty simple instructions. It doesn't really seem like it's too um, in over intense. So I guess what I'm going to do for most of this, and I kind of hope that this is something you all enjoy, but I really enjoy just kind of watching things come together. So I think I'm just going to turn this into a hyperlapse and kind of finish this up and kind of come back with my final thoughts on if I think this is kind of something that's worth $10 or um, how much kind of playtime it gave me. I think it'll, it might take me a couple days even to kind of get this done. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to see how it all kind of comes out in the end. So with that said, I'm going to start the hyperlapse and hopefully I will see you all with my final thoughts in a couple of days. No, we'll find out. Alrighty, I believe I finished with all of the A gems and that took me about, oof, I would say about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes just for that one. And we have 11 different colors in here, some of which have way more than the A's. So I'm not totally sure how that's going to translate to the rest of them, but I definitely got better at it as it went. And I also have this many A's left over, which is a good chunk, which leaves a lot of room for error. If you spill some, I definitely lost one somewhere on the floor. I don't know where it went. Don't plan on finding it anytime soon. Um, but yeah, this seems like a pretty good amount. I think that's pretty fair just to make sure everything goes okay and we don't lose anything along the way. I think I'm gonna try to save most of the pink ones for later and try to get all the greens out of the way as soon as possible just because um, they're a little bit closer in color and I think it'll be easier for me to get through that uh, sooner rather than later. So that means for me, I think I'm gonna move on to the bees, which is this dark green color next. Um, and I'm gonna actually try to transfer these back into the A container uh, just in case I ever happen to want to use these again and who knows maybe I will find some use for them in my crafting drawer in the future so with that said I'm going to move on to B and yeah keep enjoying the hyperlapse y'all another day another dollar um or it would be if this channel were monetized so um with that said i've taken a break from this for about a week um i don't even know what else to say other than this has been like a relatively busy week i'm actually in a musical right now and it is tech week so i have been spending most of my nights as soon as i come home from work immediately going and uh attending re rehearsals and coming back relatively late so that I have to go to bed to wake up at five o'clock in the morning to go back and teach. So um, I haven't really gotten anything else done and I plan on amending that today. Hopefully um, I have about three hours until I have anything else to do, which seems like a good chunk of time for me to get through at least a couple more colors. Maybe my goal will be to get through F because I feel like that'll get me through like a, a giant chunk of the green here. Um, uh, maybe G if I'm feeling kind of aggressive, I don't know. Um, but I packed everything up. The biggest problem with this that I've <laughs> seen so far is uh, my my darling sweet angel baby cats that love to keep uh, jumping up on my little uh, <laughs> bucket of gemstones. So uh, with that said, I think I'm going to pop on a movie and just get it done as much as I can and see where we end up. So let the montage continue.
Hello everyone. I hope you're going to enjoy this sweet little ASMR moment because everyone in my house is still asleep. And by everyone, I mean my boyfriend and one of my cats. So, um, I finished all of the green last night. So, this is what it looks like. This is the finished piece, and as you can see, it is glittery and gorgeous, and I think by the end of it, I only spent about eight hours on this. I definitely think also from far away, you can definitely see the difference between some of those colors that looked really close uh, when you got in, uh, right in there. Um, like, I think this, like, more muted, like, dusty rose color blended in with this a lot, especially in the lighting that I was doing this in. I think maybe the greens are a little... In color and a little less easy to see but I definitely think overall this was fine I think it took um like I said it only about maybe eight hours and I think for the ten dollars I spent on it um, I got to watch some TV and relax and have a, a, a really nice relaxing weekend um, just kind of finishing this up and uh, I enjoyed kind of seeing it all come together so yeah, I, I think I would recommend getting one of these. I think especially the, the cute little $10 ones or something. Uh, not too expensive and still takes a good amount of time. And also creates a really like sweet piece of art uh, for your wall. I think this is probably one of the most like usable ones. I definitely think there are some that have different kinds of vibes to them. Like, you know, like rainbow dogs or like uh, animals and stuff like that, but this really suits the kind of aesthetic that I have going on in my office and I definitely think it's something that is usable and attractive and definitely not overbearing. So, um, definitely this gets a thumbs up for me. Uh, if you'd want one, you can check them out from Walmart or you can get them off of Amazon. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I had to say for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe for new arts and crafty content uh, every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, hopefully I will be seeing you then. And yeah, bye!